Hello everybody, I am Maddie Balf. I'm Nolan Riley and we're both for the Carolinas Golf Association. We are out here at Sedgefield Country Club this morning with a special treat. We are here to play nine holes with Alex Smalley. Alex, a newly minted PGA Tour rookie, might have a big finish at the Wyndham Championship this past year to thank for him being able to get his tour card. He's already had some success on tour in this past month and he's going to be sure to be looking forward to more in the 2021 and 2022 season. So be sure to join us for the next 10-ish minutes as we play, some, play nine holes with Alex here at Sedgefield and have some fun. A great time for a one. <laughs> Anybody. It would be a very good time. Great time for a one. <laughs> Just this one. Um, all right, so what was your low round, I guess, out here? I shot 61. Uh, it was probably two or three months ago. I was playing with um, a guy I played with in college okay. uh, at UNC, went to UNC. So it was a little Duke UNC round. A little bad blood there. You have a little extra on the line. <laughs> yeah. Was it bragging rights? Was it? <laughs> uh, there were some, bra some yeah. bragging rights. Yeah, and definitely. Then, uh, another member at the club that good friends with here awesome um, so it was it was a fun day and i was fortunate to have a really good day that day all right so we'd be remiss not to mention some of the history at sedgefield while we're out here with alex so alex kind of kind of just gave us a quick overview of it but now we're going to get this one on camera right so uh what hole are we on right now we're Sorry, on I lost we're track. on six fairway so six fairway at sedgefield there might have been a speakeasy during prohibition just off the fairway we're going to get a shot of that uh, just after this but alex is going to yeah. talk us through it yeah so all that all that's left is a brick chimney and from what i i found because i'd heard stories of it sure and I, i'd never really the stories weren't always great they were just you know talks between people but exactly i looked it up and actually found an article about it um so it, it used to be a log cabin it said it used to be about 6500 square feet it was called the embassy club and when the tournament was here in the 60s and 70s before it moved over to forest oaks um, the players used to go there after their rounds and there used to be uh, entertainment and Frank Sinatra would play there from time to time. So the players would go there after the round, have a little drink, um, but it was built before 1925 and so that was obviously during Prohibition sure. and uh, you know they would sell alcohol and liquor and stuff like that so it was basically a speakeasy. People would go there to get their alcohol. It was essentially a nightclub back in the day, and there used to be a bouncer, and the owner's wife would sit inside the door, and they'd hear a knock on the door, and they would look through the peephole, and if they knew who you were, you could come in. If they didn't, you would stay out. Um, so that's essentially what it was in, 19, in, uh, the de in December of 1975. It burned down. Uh, they never figured out who did it or what happened or how it burned down. Sure. Um, so all that's left is the chimney now. Well, there you go. Just there a little bit of a little bit of history out here. Not the only historical fact out here, but maybe one of the more uh, cooler and unknown ones. So thanks to Alex for uh, kind of bringing us into that. So Alex uh, has given us another fun fact out here, yep. and we are on the eighth fairway out here. There's a left and a right one separated in the middle, and, and Alex heard from a friend of a friend, maybe, a, 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 a of a story about it, a few friends <laughs> yeah. about it. So we'll give the floor to you okay. again. Okay, so there are, there are two fairways here. There's a creek that runs through the middle. Um, in the middle of the fairway, I think it's about a 240 to 250 carry to get to the, the right one, so-called. Um, but back in the day when the tournament's playing here, you know, 240 or 250 carry these days is really nothing for sure. the pros. But back in the day, it might have been something 
with the technology not as good, the ball's not as good. It might, you know, it might have had to think. So I've heard that, you know, Sam Snead would hit it up the left fairway every single time just because the angle was better into the green. He felt like the angle was better. So he would hit it up the left side of the fairway, which is narrower than sure. the right. He would hit it up the left, and then he liked the angle into the green, so he would then hit a shot onto the green. And that was called the Greater, Greens Op Greater Greensboro Open at that point, and I think he's won the tournament eight times. So obviously he knew what he was doing. <laughs> so you're saying go left here. So you're saying, <laughs> so I, I've never tried it. I've never gone left. I've never seen anyone else go left, but... Sam Sneed, who's won this event eight times, used to play up the left fairway just because he liked the angle into the green a little bit better. Well, I think I'm going to aim up the left then. That could be in Sam Sneed territory. Okay. All right, well, I think Sam Sneed was right to uh, play the eighth at Sedgefield up that left side. It's a bit narrower, but a hybrid gets the job done. Was able to uh, go fairway in regulation, just about green in regulation. Hopefully we can kind of two-putt and get, uh, get out of here with a par, but Sam Snead and Alex Smalley are right. You might want to go up the left with something a little less uh, out here at Sedgefield. Is that you laughing in the background? <laughs> I don't know if there's a set distance. But you want to be close to be, enough yeah, I, for I an, a, a good birdie look, a I guess. Decent, yeah, a decent yeah. chance. Obviously, you want to get it on the green, have a, a chance at least. True. Um, but a lot of pros aren't thinking about getting it on the green and trying to get it inside of <laughs> five or ten feet. What? Um, so I mentioned this a couple holes back. What course are you most looking forward to playing? In, in your rookie season on tour? What's one that, you know, you've had your eye on for a while that you haven't been able to get to yet that is circled on the calendar? Well, I, I've been fortunate enough to have played a lot of bigger amateur tournaments when I was still an amateur um, at a lot of PGA Tour courses. Sure. So I've had the chance to play Riviera. Uh, Riviera is really cool out in L.A. Yeah. I've played Pebble Beach. Um, I've played Ennisbrook where the Valspar is at. Yep. Um, I... I, I would love to go back and play Riviera again in the tour event, but it's a limited field and I probably won't get into that one. It's an invitational. <laughs> have to get a couple uh, wins. <laughs> have to get a couple wins. Oh, Augusta. I would have to say. There you go. I would yeah. have to That's say Augusta. That's a good Augusta. one. Yeah. All righty. Well, that was the first edition of CGA playing through. Alex Smalley was our first guest. And Alex, thank you so much for having us out here. Oh, today. absolutely. Pleasure. So, so my first question, though, I guess my last question, since I've okay. asked you a few out there, is you saw my game for nine holes. I got to know, what does a PGA Tour uh, rookie and professional think of, uh, of my golf game as a nine handicap? Well, you certainly listen. I told you what, what a putt did, and you made it. Definitely. Um, it was good. You know, your short game's really good, and you had a lot of good chips, and your putting was good, your speed was good. Uh, had a tee shot hit a tree every <laughs> once in a while. A little but bit, yeah. <laughs> you mimicked Sam's number eight. I did, uh, yeah. It was, it was a good game, yeah. So, I mean, just a ballpark. How many years away you think am I from joining you on tour? Uh, five. <laughs> five? Five? I, I thought you were going to say 100. All right. No, no I'll give you five. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, that was Alex Smalley and Nolan Riley out here at Sedgefield Country Club. Thank you for watching, and be sure to look forward for a few more of these videos coming up this fall and winter.